Have you ever pondered the role of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, in regulating crypto exchanges? Today we'll delve into the recent events where the SEC finds itself in a fascinating tug-of-war with state attorneys general over its authority. Our story begins last fall when the SEC sued the crypto exchange Kraken. The SEC alleged that Kraken had failed to register as a securities broker, clearinghouse or trading platform. The SEC has brought similar complaints against other companies, such as Coinbase, Binance, and Bittrex's U.S. branch. However, in Kraken's case, the SEC claimed that the exchange was explicitly involved in promoting 11 different digital assets, it said the exchange listed as unregistered securities. The SEC also alleged Kraken commingled customer and corporate funds. Kraken, in its defense, filed a motion to dismiss last week. They argued that the SEC had failed to plausibly allege its arguments and was overstepping its bounds. These arguments mirror those made by Coinbase and Binance in their ongoing suits against the SEC. But the plot thickens. Just recently, state law enforcement officials from eight different states, Montana, Arkansas, Iowa, Mississippi, Nebraska, Ohio, South Dakota, and Texas, filed a joint amicus brief in the SEC's suit against Kraken. This filing was not in support of Kraken per se, but rather in opposition to the federal regulator. The state AGs expressed concern that the SEC's suit might even harm consumers. They argued that the agency was expanding the definition of an investment contract, and that cryptocurrencies are not automatically securities. They posited that the SEC's exercise of this undelegated authority puts consumers at risk by potentially preempting state statutes better tailored to the specific risks of non-securities products. If the SEC wins its suit, it might be able to preempt state consumer protection laws as well as state regulations around crypto. This would be a significant development, as state cases have helped clarify the definition of investment contracts in the past. In conclusion, this legal tug-of-war between the SEC and state AGs over regulatory authority over crypto exchanges is a complex affair. At its heart, it's a debate about the nature of cryptocurrencies and whether they should be classified as securities. The outcome could have far-reaching implications for consumer protection laws and crypto regulations at both the state and federal levels. Remember, the world of cryptocurrencies is as intriguing as it is unpredictable. As the story unfolds, it'll be interesting to see how the scales of justice tip in this legal battle.